Hey everybody, it is Kristen here. Um, I was working on making some of these specimen cards and I posted these in my favorite junk journal group, which is Junk Journal Junkies, um, the group that is um, that was started by Kelly Snow. Um, so I posted these and a lot of people loved them. And at first I made these larger ones and it was the first time ever doing them. I wasn't sure if they were too big, but um, then I tried to do smaller ones. So these were on um, uh, a cream colored uh, card stock that was coffee dyed. And then I tried um, brown, the uh, like craft paper card stock color. And I think I like the lighter color and I also like the bigger ones. So I decided to make some more. Um, here are just some more of the smaller ones that I made. And these are just stickers that I used and put on here. So we're gonna make another one together. So I went ahead and this time I'm gonna use pink. So this is like the pale pink cardstock. Um, it was coffee dyed. And then I kind of just went in between the pages while they were still wet and I just spritzed a little bit of um, gold uh, metallic acrylic pour paint that I had watered down and just kind of sprayed it in there. And so I don't know if you can really tell. Let me see if there's one that, mm, it just adds a little bit of shimmer and I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up in the video, but so we'll pick one to work with today. Let's see. Ooh, this one has, um, I don't know, let's see. Can you see the shimmer in there? Let's do this one, I'm liking this guy. So, and I just went, I didn't even um, use a ruler or anything. I just drew a square. I used my, um, my stamp pad and I traced it and then I just went in and freehand cut this out. Uh, so you can see it's not perfect, but that doesn't bother me. So, we're going to do our, actually, let me do my corners first. We don't want to forget that. Always going to do the corners. Just makes it look so much better finished. So, we'll do that. And then, I'm going with, I think, yeah, for all of the cards that I've done, I've used the, um, the walnut stain. I just like the little bit of darker color here. And I just started on the um, the inside here, this little window first. Ink that up. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, everything, everything that you do, it's like, well, me anyway, is inked up. Always got to do the edges. And I just ordered some new um, Distress Oxides to play with, the pads, because I'm really loving those. Well, I'm loving a lot of things, just exploring and having fun. Okay, so just finish up these guys. And then, so if you guys have made any, um, you can share on the post that I make, because I'm going to share this in group. So please share your um, cards with me and the things that you used. Okay. So let's ink up. And then next, I'm gonna do stamp. So I think you really like, I mean, it's funny because at first I was really trying to make it look like a specimen card. So that's why I was asking about the size. I don't know, is this right? And then I thought, what are you talking about, Kristen? There are no rules here, you know? <laughs> like have fun with it. So, um, let's see here. For stamps, I think you can really just 
whatever you choose. Um, I was really like, this is from Stampin' Up! And I was really liking this, um, this stamp that had, has the script in like some sort of chart here. And um, this is from Stampin' Up! So, let's see, we're going to add some of these. And I'm just going to do the top part a little bit with some ink. And just kind of stamp wherever on here. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Then, let's see. So I thought for this video, I pulled out my J. Um, and I'm going to do a little JJJ from Junk Journal Junkies. So let's see, where should I add that? We're going to go right across the top here. Let's see. Is it going to show up? Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we got some stamps in there. Um, so next I've got my, so this is just an old, um, baggie that was used and I just kind of rinsed it and wiped it off and now I'm going to use it in here. So let's make sure it's going to fit first. That is barely going to fit, Kristen. Okay. So I'm going to have to make sure it's down quite a bit. So since you can't really put glue on a baggie, here we go. I got my little um, tape runner thing. So I'm just gonna go along the edges here with my window. Okay. Now I'm gonna make sure I get this in the window. Okay, I'll get the top. All right, so I just do that around the windows so that um, the tape runner, so that now I've got my PVA glue um, in the precision bottle. So I can just kind of, you know what? Let me go ahead and cut some of this excess off down here. We don't need all of that. There we go. So now I'll just go around with my glue here all the edges. And now if you're going to do a larger image, I guess you'd have to stick the image down in here before you close this up, obviously. Um, and some of my images are definitely, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I've got some of them here, some of my butterflies that I cut out. Look at that. My tiny little glue topper. This is why I lose it all the time. See, Tabitha, why I need one? <laughs> okay, so let's see. So yeah, you can see if I wanted to do a larger image, I would have to put that inside um, and put it down on the plastic before I put my cover down and glue it. So let's see. Maybe this girl. This one's pretty. It's very colorful. Look, that one's like barely fitting into the window. Hmm. Okay, I like this one. And this one is not. Oh, look at that. Okay, I can slide him in there. There's a wing in there. We're going to use this one. Okay, let's see. And so if I have any white edges, let's see. Can't really see against my um, paper here. But I just sort of go around it so it's not so, such a 
big contrast. Ooh, and that was very easy to peel that off. Okay. Now, can I get this back underneath here again? I, ooh, and she did it, yay. Okay, this is so not gonna be straight. Can I pull it up? All right, let's try this again. That was a close one. Let's see. Get them under there. Come on, little guy. Get your wing in there. Okay. Okay, so not bad. <laughs> it's totally crooked, but that's how it goes, you know? I don't mind it so much. And then since I fussy cut and I have to cut off their little antenna guy, I like to draw them back on. So let me give her her little feelers here. And... And then what else? Okay, so I got these, um, whoops, I got these, I just printed these from online. I just typed in specimen card labels and they popped up. So I'll show you on the larger ones here. I just kind of ripped off a piece of it that says specimen name <clears throat> and the date. And I put a stamp on there. So that's what I'm going to do here. Because um, you can see they're pretty big. So I'm just going to rip up and I guess I could make it smaller if I um, changed it you know what when you're um, printing it or I could copy it and I could see that I just wanted to do change the size to like 50% uh, 75% or whatever oops I just grabbed the black put that that's all right Let's see, does that look crazy? Eh, not so bad, we'll use it. Let me go ahead and put this over here so I don't do that again with something that I will be upset with. Okay, so we're just gonna glue this guy on. And that will be our label. Okay, and then so I also had um, the other ones I did. This is another stamp set from Stampin' Up that I just bought from a, a local lady that was selling a bunch of the stamp sets. And I pulled out Date and Discoveries. It just so happened to be perfect for this. Now, Discoveries is not really staying on here. So we'll see if we can make that stay for a moment so we can stamp. No, Discoveries is not cooperating with us. Let's see. There. Just kind of a little extra fun there. And let me see here. I feel like maybe a layer, different dimension of color could be good here. Since I'm going to use this stamp, but instead of using black, let me see. I, these are the browns that I have. Let me see. I think I'm going to try, let's try this very little hat. Let's see. So this is frayed, yep, frayed burlap. So I'm just going to ink it up a little bit towards the top here. And let's see what this looks like. And let me see. Okay, so here's the cards that I cut out, and that'll just sort of protect my protect my girl in there. Let's see. There, I 
like that. Just kind of really mess it up. You need this. All right, guys. And there we go. So add this to my collection. And um, so now I'll have some butterflies to go with my flowers. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.